Oh god, my hands look so big like this. Hello ladies, I'm back here with yet another video. Today what we're talking about is how do you actually level up with your finances? A lot of you guys are probably concerned with your finances, especially if you are in the process of leveling up, you do know that it always does cost money no matter what you do. Whether you are upgrading your wardrobe, whether you're upgrading your beauty, everything, you know, it does cost money. All the treatments, all the clothes, all the designer shoes and accessories, it always costs you money even getting in shape getting that best body getting that amazing hair get, getting that nice skin it all costs money so here are some tips for you guys if you are in the process of leveling up then here is a few things that might help you on your journey let's talk about how do you level up yourself financially so you're covering everything all together basically so let's start my point number one would be the 60 to 40 rule now what that means is whatever income that you have on a monthly basis you have to be living on 60 percent of it 40 percent you're not even touching we're going to talk about it later for now the basic expenses that you have should be easily covered with 60 percent of your monthly income and then whatever you have left 40 percent 10 percent you can do charity 20 percent you can save then another 10 percent you can just do whatever you like this is also an amazing rule that I also actually picked up from somebody else's video a while ago and I was like, wow. And I think uh, the channel is called The Roommates that also discussed this point very deeply and I was like, oh my god, that makes so much sense. And I think that overall, this is also what I have been doing myself also, kind of unknowingly, but it is good when you put these things in perspective and then follow this strategy. So just know whatever income you have on a monthly basis, use 60% of it for your basic expenses, which is your living costs, which probably is the rents, the bills, it's probably also your gym membership, it's probably also your Netflix, it's probably also your beauty treatments or whatever basic things that you can't go without on a monthly basis, those are your basic expenses. And yes, gym membership also is a basic expense, so you have to include that in there also. So all of these things combined should be 60%. And then with the rest of it, you can do however we discussed already. If your financial situation right now does not allow you to have all these expenses covered just from the 60% of your income, then here is the thing. You do need a side hustle. You probably need an additional job. Otherwise, you won't be able to level up. You want nice designer pieces, you want a better shape, you want more treatments done, you want your lashes all the time, you want your hair done all the time, guess what? You need another job to get all of these things covered. And these things might sound so basic, like hair and lashes and clothes and style and even your car payments, whatever. But these are expenses at the end of the day. At the end of every month, it adds up to a lot if you count even your mobile bills. So everything has to be covered with 60% of the whole income. If it doesn't allow you right now, you need an additional job or you need a side hustle, you need to do something. Well, we will do another video on that maybe probably next time. But for now, keep this rule in mind, which is a 60 to 40 rule. And trust me, your life is gonna just improve. Another rule to remember is guys, please shop online with discount codes and cashbacks. I always like to use discount codes, I always do that and sometimes if I'm not able to Google and find a discount code, what I tend to do is I go to the newsletter of that certain website and then somewhere I'm definitely going to find like a discount code probably in the emails that they have previously sent me or something like that or sometimes I also what I like to do is I go to their Instagram and go through their stories or even their feed posts and stuff and if I find a discount code, guess what? I'm going to use it, right? So even if you save 10%, 20%, you have to use discount codes. Now, using discount codes does not mean that you're just gonna shop more and more and more just to make up for that discount. Don't do that. Shop necessary things, but even with the necessities, go ahead and use those discount codes, guys, okay? Another amazing thing that I do, this way I always get some money back on every purchase that I make online, is I use cashback services. So basically what that is, you can just sign up for like, let's say top cashback, that's the number one in UK right now. That is also the one I use. I also have given you guys like a link in the description. If you use this link, sign up. It's totally free to sign up, by the way. You don't pay anything. All you do, you make an account, you sign up, you give them your bank details or like your card details. And then what you do, every time you make a purchase online, you go to this website first 
enter the website you're going to shop from, let's say Amazon, eBay, John Lewis, whatever. You can, there's so many options that you have there. They cover a lot of shops like Next, Zara, Topshop, even Debenhams, John Lewis, and so many other major retailers are available on the list. So you go to the website, you click on whatever website you're going to shop from, and then you shop through that. So, so what Top Cashback website is gonna do, it's gonna track your order wherever you place your order online. In simple words, just go through this website first and then do your online shopping, even if it is on eBay and Amazon. I buy so many things from eBay and Amazon all the time, but this is how I save because I always keep getting cash back from every purchase that I make. And every single month, I definitely do make about 40 to 50 quids extra like that. And it may not be too much for anybody. I understand it's only 50 quids every month, but it's still something. You're still saving on your necessities. So even like the monthly Amazon things that I order, I still kind of save up a lot more this way. And it does keep adding into my account. And then by the end of every month, I can choose what I want to do with that money. I can use that money as a coupon uh, to use on Amazon further, or I can basically just ask them to transfer that into my bank account. And that is how it works. And it's super easy to use. It's free to sign up. So use the link I have given you guys in the description. This is one thing you really need to start doing. Use a cashback website every time you make a purchase online and this is going to save you so much money and it's also so satisfying to see that you're always getting cash back on every purchase that you make online and the more you shop obviously the more you save that being said i don't want you to shop that much i am just talking about your basic necessities or even the luxury items that you buy you can still have cash back on that how amazing is that so use the link it's given in the description you have nothing to lose so go ahead my next point would be please buy your basic things, your basic everyday items from cheap stores like Pound Shop and, or I don't know, like maybe 99p shops or something like that. For example, your sanitary napkins or cotton pads and cotton discs, little tea candles, you know, like basic things like toothpaste and toothbrush and even shampoos. Literally the L'Oreal and Vive shampoo that I use and I always buy that from B&M for four pounds. I saw it at Pound Shop for literally just two pounds. Even deer sprays, notepads, diaries, pens, pencils, scotch tape, measuring tapes, napkins, kitchen rolls and toilet papers and so many other things you can actually just buy from Pound Shop and you will save up so much money that way. So it only makes sense to go to Pound Shops to get your basic necessities out of the way every month. And that way you can save a little bit of extra money every month so you can then save up that money and use that money for your luxury items or your luxury experiences or whatever it is that you wish to do. Point number four, stop buying from sales racks. Now hear me out. I do know that sales obviously only makes sense, but what I am trying to say here, when you always end up in every shop and always go to the sales rack, Honestly, every time this happens where you just start buying unnecessary things that you really don't even need. Just because a top was £10 cheaper, just because a pair of jeans you saw is £5 cheaper, you don't really need to buy it if you really don't need it. So what I'm trying to say is, please do conscious shopping. From now onwards, the only type of shopping you have to do is quality items timeless pieces and quality luxury wear that you know is timeless and you can keep on continuing to use that for so many seasons to come. If you always end up on a sales rack in every shop that you enter, of course you're going to end up with so many bags coming out of the shop because everything was on sale, right? So it makes sense for you at that time to buy all of those things. But if you think about it, you actually made the wrong choices. So stop buying things from the sales racks do conscious shopping where you already know what are the items that you're looking for, what are the items that you want, and then set the target, go. That's all you're gonna buy, and this is it, period. And of course, it never hurts to do window shopping because window shopping allows you to set your eyes on a lot of things, and then later on, you can find those things maybe somewhere else online, maybe see if you can find it cheaper somewhere, maybe find out like a discount code, remember? and then shop for that particular item. You don't really always have to do impulsive shopping. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's insane. Please do conscious shopping and you'll save up a lot more that way. And this is also one of the reasons I really don't believe in trends because the more trends you buy, the more sales racks you buy, right? You just end up with so much clutter and then I find myself to always having to declutter everything and that is one cycle that I had to stop for myself and I 
successfully did so and I would like that you do the same. My next point, point number five, buy designer lookalikes. Now I don't mean that you should go ahead and buy fakes because that kind of looks tacky. What I mean is there's something called a dupe. A lot of brands nowadays are actually copying a lot of designer items. For example, you can buy faux fur, uh, you know, long coats that probably look exactly like YSL coats. Or you can buy cardigans from like River Island nowadays that literally look like one of those Chanel timeless pieces. And this is what I mean by doing shopping, which is kind of designer lookalike. If your budget does not allow, this is the best thing you can do for yourself. Recently, there was this vintage shop I saw online and I ordered some cardigans from them and I ended up buying so many because they all look like Coco Chanel. And I was like, oh my God, I am actually a fan of Chanel and Dior. Those are my favorite brands. So it only made sense for me to get those because they looked so similar and you can achieve the similar type of look with those things. And that too, without breaking the bank. How amazing is that? There is so many local brands that now do Dior inspired shirts and Vogue shirts. And I don't know, so many things that you see look quite designer and they probably are good quality also, you know? So buy things that kind of look somewhat amazing, you know? So this way you don't have any rough and random pieces in your wardrobe anymore. Everything that you touch is supposed to be nice. And then that way it will become so much more easy for you to always look on point no matter what item you pick from your wardrobe there's always something nice to wear you also get a lot of t-shirts nowadays that have more like that balman inspired look with like the buttons you have coats now that have versace looking buttons on them and stuff and it always makes things look so much more expensive and so much more elegant also and it looks like you're a leveled up girl too, you know? So not everything you buy has to be 100% designer. I always believe in buying designer accessories like bags and shoes and earrings and I don't know, jewelry pieces. That to me makes more sense. However, when it comes to clothes, I prefer 50-50. So buy designer lookalikes and then also get solid pieces from designers themselves like, you know, like your belts and like your coats and like the major things that you might need that make a statement go ahead and buy a designer piece. However, with random everyday things, you can just buy lookalikes. So remember, please don't buy fakes. I'm talking about lookalikes. Lookalike meaning the material kind of is the same or the print could be a little bit similar or the styling of the cardigan and the cut of the shirt could be same. The buttons could be similar or the styling of the shirt and the cut of the top could be similar also, you know. There is so many coats nowadays that literally look like the Gucci coat also. So there you go. That is what I mean by a lookalike. So each and every piece in your wardrobe should be carefully selected. Don't buy random things. Don't buy from sales racks, please, because you'll end up buying so much junk. I'm telling you, it's always a mistake. I've been there, done that. If you are in the process of leveling up, please make sure to check out the rest of my videos. I have so much content that is similar to this subject. And I hope this video was very useful. If you have any more tips, let me know in the comments. What are the things that you have started to take care of, especially when it comes to improving your finances? What are the steps that you're taking? What were the steps that you took? Please let us know in the comments below. It could help somebody else also. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have an amazing community of amazing ladies who are all in the process of leveling up in every way, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, or financially so please join our gang and hit the subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notifications so every time i do post anything you will be notified and if i may also add don't forget to also follow me on instagram i'm quite active there so sometimes you will find i do disappear from youtube sometimes here and there you know it's just for my mental peace but i'm always there on instagram and if you have any questions i'll be there to answer them on instagram also my instagram is mayladyisha guys until my next video take care of your well-being until then bye yeah, i'm done here